Southampton under 21s will look to return to winning ways this Monday as they take on Leicester City at St Mary's. With just three games remaining, Southampton are looking for a positive end to the campaign. Defeat at Manchester United last time out, but a game they finished strongly. Momentum that midfielder Jake Hesketh wants to take into this Monday's fixture. I mean, I think we got the ball down and we played out a lot better and we have done a lot of games this season against a good team and I think we just need to carry that on in training today and then into Monday's game. You played against Leicester before before Christmas, I think it was. How did you find them? What were you expecting from them on Monday? Uh, I think they'll be a bit physical team. They'll play, they've played a few senior players recently, so it'll be a tough test once again. But I've, if we play as we did in the second half, I don't see why we shouldn't win quite comfortably. We want to be playing the best players. That's why we obviously we focus on winning as many games as we can, finish as high up in the league and push, push on again next year and try and push for the title again, which we did for the main part of the season. We've sort of fallen away a bit, which is a bit disappointing. We're, um, we're really looking forward to the game. We've been training hard, um, working on some of the uh, the little problems that we've had, uh, and we know a lot about Leicester. They'll uh, they'll be another team in the league that'll play uh, overage players, which is good for uh, the players to pit the wits against um, the likes of their senior players. So um, it's a game at St Mary's, and uh, everybody's really looking forward to it. So Southampton sit ninth in the table, but a clear relegation. If results go their way, they could break the top six. Leicester have not won in two and technical director Martin Hunter is keen to make the Foxes victim of a Saints resurgence. There's a lot of positives to take I suppose from the second half performance against Manchester United. I guess you'd be hoping to carry that on into the game. Well it was, I mean we did we did sort of two debriefs yesterday. We looked at the Chelsea game uh, followed by the Manchester United game. Now if we can perform a lot longer like we did in the second half against Manchester United we've got a great chance of winning the game and that's you know that's one of the aims that we've got before uh, before we start on Monday. Why do you think it was that there was such a drastic change between the first half performance and the, and the second half performance last week? I just think um, the players uh, understood that you know Manchester United are made of flesh and blood like anybody else so we, we respect obviously all, all the opposition but um, they then got a grip of, of, of how they needed to play. They were better individually and certainly in terms of the attacking there was a lot more fluidity to the play and we, as you, you, know, you well know we created some good chances. So there is a lot, to, a lot to play for at this stage and it's been quite a difficult run in. You've got Leicester on Monday and then two games against Manchester City. It keeps the lads on their toes I guess. I wouldn't say difficult, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity. So Leicester are, are high in the league. And Manchester City will be a, a, a great test. We'll play in their uh, their stadium. I think that holds eight and a half thousand people. And then the final game is again at St Mary's. So, you know, you couldn't want a, a better carrot, really. From a personal point of view, you've been in deep line midfield position. You've been in the number ten role as well recently. How have you enjoyed that? Yeah, obviously, I enjoy playing wherever. I enjoy playing further forward. It's what I've grown up playing, really, but I don't mind playing wherever bit more freedom to go like where I find space rather than being restricted to the middle third and like can be a bit more inventive in around the final third because if I lose it playing further back it's we're in trouble but I've got a bit more freedom to try stuff up there.